Hi everyone, welcome back to VFX 101. Today's class about Marvel movie, yes, Wonder Vision expanding universe effect. So jump to the Photoshop. Okay, I have two images. So first one is a new room and second one is old room. So uh, make sure the proportion of these two images are same. Okay, and uh, in a new room, I just uh, select the luster and mirror on a separate layer with the help of pen tool. Okay, next uh, on a old room, I just select the side wall and side wall two and old and do. All right. Okay, let's. Uh, uh, cut the uh, side wall, side wall 2 and old door uh, selection area. So first uh, select the old room layer and unhide the side wall and press control key and click on thumbnail and just click the old room and delete the side wall. Okay next again unhide the side wall 2 and control click and select the old room layer and delete key on a keyboard again old door and alt key and delete now we have a we have an empty uh, uh, side wall side wall and old door two layers okay next uh, save the uh, project file on a psd format and jump to the after effects okay i just created this scene with the help of uh, twitch uh, glitch effects and some of uh, uh, bad distortions so simple uh, import the room file uh, room psd import kind composition double click okay now we have a uh, uh, seven layers uh, okay first select the mirror and luster layer and move the move on a top okay and drag forward okay Next, select the sidewall and apply twitch bad distortion effect. Okay, next, wow, it's it's really cool. Okay, let's apply some glitch effect. So I'm gonna select the layer, go to the effect menu and apply bodice continuum transition, and there is my cross glitch effect. Now play the video. Cool. So this is the basic glitch effect. Okay, now apply the some uh, Venetian uh, blind effect. So simple, select layer, effect menu, transition, and select Venetian. Actually, it's 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 a Venetian. So sorry for the pronunciation. So let's apply some animation, transition animation. Simple, uh, apply keyframe zero and move the slider. Eight frames and transition and again move the slider and zero key now play the video like this one it's 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 a completely bad distortion right so again apply the same effect move the transition completion and move the slider again and zero okay now play the video okay so now uh, this uh, is the basic uh, distortion effects so the effects is almost ready simple I select the these three effects and copy and paste into the sidewall 2 and all layers now select the keyframes and move the slider forward to set the position okay next select the sidewall 2 layer and split the layer and delete all three effects a previous layer then again select the old door layer and split the layer and delete the three previous effects okay now the time is set one two and three okay let's uh, set the uh, position uh, animation position simple select the uh, sidewall and opacity so now it's look like the old uh, universe expanded into the new universe so okay let's change the old door effects so 
Okay, a little bit more, sorry, a little bit more. Okay. Okay, let's change to the uh, speed, Twitch if, uh, effect speed. Simple select the main effect layer and go to the speed and type 3. Okay. Now it's look cool. Not bad. Okay. Next, apply some uh, dissolve effect with the help of opacity animation. Actually, it's a very basic tutorial. So, okay. Okay, now the time to uh, appear the uh, mirror effect. Simple. Select this and apply the three effects. Okay, next, apply same effects on a luster layer. And okay, create the video first. One, two, three, and four. Oh, okay, drag back to the luster layer on a 1.5 seconds. Okay, now play the video. Okay, let's apply the venient uh, transition effect anyway did we can sorry 100 move the slider and glide. nice now the time to uh, disappear the old uh, room image so select the old room layer then go to the edit menu Split the layer and select the split part and paste the three glitch effects. Okay, and apply some dissolve opacity 100 to 0. Okay, next uh, is disappear the luster opacity 0 and again disappear the mirror. Select the mirror layer, apply T key. Apply keyframe and move the slider and 100 to 0. Now play the video. 1, 2, 3, and 4. So it's really cool. Not bad. So I hope you like this video. If this video is helpful to you, like and share this video. Much more is more. Subscribe VFX 101 and must press the bell icon.